If you're looking for the best infant car seats, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Baby Trend Secure Snap Tech 35 Infant Car Seat. This Baby Trend model boasts an oversized canopy that comes in handy during sunny walks or when traveling to and from the car in a rainstorm. Users love the comfort grip handle for toting the seat around, as well as the extra cushion for baby's comfort, including a newborn insert for lower weights. At 18 pounds, the seat is heavier than similar seats and that's without a baby in it. The price is appealing, some $100 cheaper than other brands, but we did see complaints about the seat straps. Users noted they were difficult to adjust, and in some cases it was challenging to get each strap even with one another. Moving on to the next at number two, with Chico Kifit Infant. Aside from its max weight of 22 pounds, Kifit's infant model is identical to its more expensive sibling, the Kifit 30, whose max weight is 30 pounds. We use this model for both kids, and the only reason we opted for this one versus the Kifit 30 was because it was rated slightly higher in a buyer's guide, but it did disappoint. It's pretty light at just 9 pounds, and the click feature left no doubts as to whether the seat was properly installed in its base. The bases are fairly inexpensive on their own, so you can purchase an extra for a second car. We love the feature that indicates if the base is level for added confidence and insulation. As a mom of two spit uppers, I wish the shoulder padding had Velcro to remove for easy washing. Instead, I had to unthread the straps to slide the pads off, and rethreading them properly was confusing. Like most infant car seats, with the proper insert, this worked with a stroller we bought a Chico Bravo stroller. While universal bases are available that allow mixing and matching of seats and strollers, don't assume. Check with the manufacturer of a stroller to make sure your seat will work with it. The number three position is held by Grocco Snugride Snuglock 35. Grocco is a trusted dog brand, all things baby, including car seats. Several families I talked to like Grocco because of its durability and mid-range price point. This model fits babies up to 35 pounds, similar to the Chico Kifit. This Grocco model uses click, connect, marketing speak for easy installation into the included car seat base and compatible stroller system. Grocco says it's tested for side and back protection, but to reiterate, there aren't yet federal standards for that test. The seat offers four reclined positions, which helps for a better fit the range of cars. Parents love the one-hand adjustment handle, which the Chico does not have, and which makes it possible to move the handle down while holding a baby. Next at number 4 we have Britax B-Safe Gen 12 Infant Car Seat. Britax is a pricier brand for all things baby, but it's popular for good reason. The seats are reliable, durable, and attractive looking. The B-Safe Gen 12 offers a single hand buckle release and an oversized canopy with up 50 plus for sunny walks. For ease of use, this model offers a simple button release for latch, lower anchors, and tethers for children connectors. Latch uses anchor installation versus seat belt installation. Both are safe, but some parents prefer the ease of latch installation. Bear in mind latch, lower anchors have a maximum weight limit of 65 pounds, rear facing and 69 pounds, forward facing including your child and the car seat. So once you're over those limits, switch to seat belt installation. Users rave about the extra padding and soft, washable material. One parent I spoke with likes the Britax stroller that works with this car seat for its smooth ride and easy connection. Some reviewers compare this model to the more expensive version that has an anti-rebound bar. It should be noted that this is an extra feature, which the manufacturer claims reduces rebound rotation by up to 30% in a crash, but is not required by federal regulations. The number 5 position is held by Grocco 4 of her DLX 4-in-1 car seat. Welcome to the world of tanks disguising themselves as car seats, regardless of whether you choose a convertible seat at birth. Once your baby outgrows an infant seat, it's time to put them in something that takes up most of the back seat. This Grocco model can take your kiddo from birth through college. We're only sort of kidding, but it does cover all stages of car seat use, from rear-facing the backless booster seat, and safely holds kids up to 120 pounds. A dear friend of mine bought six of these, or similar models to each for three cars, and she acknowledges it cost a small fortune, but it was better than having to play musical car seats. 
because of the size of, like most convertible seats, if you need to fit three across, you're going to need a bigger car. The DLX model has a removable cover that comes off without having to take the seat out for easier washing. The number six position is dominated by Graco Extentra Fit convertible car seat. When your kids hit certain milestones, there's cause for celebration. She sits up, takes her first steps, tries a new food. But the op counsels Hoffman warns against rushing the car seat milestone. Just because your child reached the minimum requirement to turn the seat around at one year and 20 pounds, we don't want families to turn kids around on their birthday, he says. In general, rear-facing is better than forward-facing or booster seat in a crash. He points to crash dynamics and physics to explain this. For this reason, parents might like the extent of fit seat from Graco, which added 5 inches of height to let children ride rear-facing for longer. This model allows you to adjust the height of the headrest and harness in one motion no more fiddling with various latches or handles. And perhaps the harness free storage pocket is over the top. But it holds the harness out of the way for getting your kiddo in and out more easily. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Chico Next Fit Zip Air. When we were choosing the next model after our kids had grew their infant seats, we landed on whatever the buyer's guide recommended. It happened to be the same brand Chico as the infant seat and we're happy enough with it that we bought a second. I balked at the price tag, $330. But I reminded myself that my kids were going to sit in this every day for years to come. It's giant, and with two of them in the backseat of a Toyota Corolla, one rear-facing, one forward-facing, our entire back row is basically a car seat. Larger vehicles may offer a bit more room. There's a zip cover for easy washing, but the zipper is a little tricky to work around the crotch buckle. I usually just vacuum up the goldfish and pretzels and call it a day. The cup holder is removable, which makes it easy to clean but also easy for my kids to rip off and throw at each other. I do have trouble keeping the straps from twisting, and it's impossible to fix it when you're also trying to strap a kid in. Both kids like to buckle the chest strap, so that gives them something to do while I tend to the crotch buckle. The padding seems to be comfortable. Both kids can nap in the car for hours at a time, and unlike the infant version, the shoulder straps have Velcro pads to allow for easy washing. Overall, we're pleased we bought two, after all. But if I were to do it again, I might opt for a more versatile seat with a higher weight limit, like the Graco Forever DLX4 in one car seat. The number eight position is held by Evenflow Tribute 5 convertible car seat. When I say no frills, I mean no frills. We bought this seat as a spare for my parents' car during a trip to visit them and then used it for airplane travel. And now it sits in my husband's car. We wanted a cheap seat as a backup. And this is that. We actually paid $60 about four years ago. It's super lightweight because it has zero bells and whistles, including shoulder strap padding or really any padding. I can't imagine it's a comfortable story, kid. But it checks off the safety requirements, although even correctly installed. When it was rear facing, our son was basically lying down. Installation is a little trickier compared to other seats, but you get what you pay for. I'd recommend this seat if your budget is tight. You need an inexpensive backup, or you want a lightweight option for air travel. Next at number 9, we have Dune Infant Car Seat and Latch Base. Our experts love this unique two-in-one design that offers an easy transition from car seat to stroller without requiring additional parts. You can also install the car seat with or without a base, making this a great option for travel or city living. The carrier is heavier than standalone car seats, however the only necessary lifting will typically be when going into and out of the car. Though it's great for those with limited space, in tests we found the stroller to be a bit short for tall parents. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Maxi Cosi Miko Max Plus Infant Car Seat. Compatible with a wide range of stroller systems and with side impact protection for baby and a condored carrier handle for parent, the Miko Max Plus is designed to get to your destination as smoothly as possible, but motion sickness, spit up, and even the occasional blow up. Luckily, our pros found that messes are no match for this car seat, with its removable car seat pen that cleans easily in the washer and dryer. That's all for today. We upload baby product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.